I wanted to write about the most powerful force in nature through the eyes of the people who understood it the most. In the case of the wave, it was Laird and the other people who were at the very apex of the sport. It's like this amazing band of adventurers. It's not even so much surfing, it's like so far beyond surfing, it's going into this other element. And that is what all these characters had in common, was this willingness to step across the thresholds, you know, to go into this other element. The big waves have so, each one has such a different character. That's what's so great in a way, that they're all so uniquely different and have their own personality. Scary beauty. Yeah, it's like awe, terror, yeah. Yeah. everything mixed. It was also the scientists that are studying these waves and trying to figure out, you know, why are all these boats disappearing? We don't even know how these waves are breaking out in the middle of the ocean. Like sometimes in a 40-foot sea, there will be a 100-foot wave, and how does that even happen? For a long time, there wasn't physics that could explain it, and there are still conditions under which it happens, and nobody really knows why. So I wanted to find out what, what's really going on in the darkest, darkest, most powerful part of the ocean. And I think that's part of what this book offers people is the opportunity to understand the wave and, and the earth is a living organism i mean it's the wind and the, i mean it's, it's alive and it's what waves are that's what surfing is that's what our lives are that's why we dedicate our lives to the ocean the climate that we think is so stable is changing in a rather volatile way and i, I wanted to point out that this earth that we're living on is not a static place and we should Instead of basically trying to muscle our way around it, because you're not going to muscle a 70-foot wave, let's understand it. You know, let's find out what's going on. Let's try to, like, be in harmony with it as opposed to, to, to just steamrolling over it, because really what will happen is it will steamroll over us. You've seen a certain side yeah. of wave. The scientists have understood them from a different angle. The salvagers, the ship captains, everybody who's out in these incredibly extreme conditions had something to tell for this book. So it was like a question of gathering all this very privileged information and, and then turning it into a narrative that could explain to people, here is the craziest force of nature and this is what's going on with it.